what is up welcome to my channel if you're new or welcome back to my channel in this video i'm doing a boxycharm versus ipsy unboxing july edition um i did do one last month for the month of june so i have that link somewhere in the cards as well as the end screen if you want to go check that out i will also have this makeup tutorial listed in the end screen in and in some of the cards somewhere throughout this video if you want to go check that out as well i did use both boxycharm and ipsy's products for the month of july to do this makeup tutorial i also used a few products from june's boxycharm and ipsy as well everything i use will be linked down in the description below in that video if you want to go check that out and as for both ipsy and boxycharm i'll also link everything i received in these boxes as well as the box the boxes links um down in the description below too if you want to go check that out as well i guess with that being said if you want to see what i got between both boxes and I guess the which one won, then just keep watching. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and start with BoxyCharm. Whenever you open your box, or at least my box anyway, this is what I saw, this is what I'm seeing. So super fun, colorful already. And the first thing I'm pulling out is the BoxyCharm card. And on the back of this card, it lists every single product you received, a description of the product, as well as the pricing, which is cool. You get to see how much each product's worth. You know, you add up the total and that gives you the total amount that your box is worth. But the first item that I'm pulling out and that I actually used for this makeup tutorial that again I'll have links somewhere in the, throughout this video is the 111 Skin Harley St. London Pollution Defense Booster. I actually really liked this stuff. It dried matte. Um, there wasn't any dewy or oily residue left on my skin after I rubbed it in. It was lightweight too, so I used it right before my primer. And I was honestly really, really excited and overall happy with the product. But this is my first time using it, so again, um, I'll have to use it a couple more times to give you my honest and full, I guess, review and opinion on it. But this far, using it once, I really like the way it turned out. I, again, I, I can't use like oily products and thick um dewy products on my skin because i do have oily skin in general and i don't want to clog my pores more than i already do when i pile my makeup on i don't want to irritate my skin more than i usually do so so far i'm really liking it this 111 skin NAC y2 pollution defense booster is a daytime booster to fortify your skin against the harmful aggressors of the digital age this product retails for 135 dollars which is amazing which is crazy in my opinion too just one product is $135. I received it in my box. So already the box is paid for and then some. The next thing that I'm pulling out and that I also use in this makeup tutorial is the Ciate London Everyday Vacay Dewy Coconut Setting Spray. This stuff smells so good. But after spraying it on my skin, it left this cool, nice sensation. And it honestly, it didn't really give me a dewy finish, which is fine because again, I don't want to accentuate the oils that already come up from my skin anyway but i did like the way it felt it did smell really good um again this is one of these things i feel like i'll have to use a couple more times to give you my full and honest review on the product but this far i did like it and again i can't get over how good it smells it smells just like coconut if you're into that the ciate london everyday vacay coconut setting spray set and refresh your makeup with the ciate london's everyday vacay setting spray this product retails for 22 dollars which is again amazing next product that i'm going to go into is the per cosmetic festival 2.0 eyeshadow palette i received actually i believe it it may be the point one or 1.0 i don't know but i received a per festival cosmetics palette maybe it was last year last august around in that time and i honestly it was not my favorite product to have received um i like this one way better i love that the colors are more more adjusted to what i usually use if that makes sense the darkest shade on the bottom right hand corner did break it did come out so i'm kind of sad about that but it's whatever i still have a little bit of it left so i'll do what i can but the rest of the color is absolutely beautiful they're super pigmented i did use this palette to create the eye look i'm wearing today the per cosmetics festival 2.0 eyeshadow palette get into a state of intense euphoria with this shimmer infused 12 piece press pigment palette that instantly coats lids in dreamy irresistible color that shines i absolutely agree with that the pigmentation was just out of this world and super easy to blend which i love this palette right here retails for 36 dollars so I don't know if I'd outright purchase this on my own for $36, but receiving in the box, I'm overall really happy with it. The next thing that I'm pulling out is the Grace and Stella Anti-Wrinkle and Energizing Eye Masks. I haven't used these yet, but I absolutely love eye masks. These are so cute. They're gold. Honestly, cannot wait to use them, so I can't give you an honest review 
on what I think about these, but I feel like they're gonna they're gonna be good. I feel like they're gonna work really well. This is Grace and Stella Anti Wrinkle and Energizing Eye Mask. There are 12 pairs. It says suffering from dark circles, puffy eye bags, fine lines, and general fatigue around your eyes. Perk them up if you've had eight hours of sleep with these eye masks. This retails for $21. So honestly, that isn't that bad. For 12 pairs, it's only $21. Anytime I receive face masks, eye masks, um, things like that, I am super excited to use in the future. So anyway, moving on to the last product in the box is the Lavish Quick Color Switch Dry Brush Cleaner. I think this is what I was honestly most excited to get. You literally dip the product in the little container, you swirl your brush around, it's supposed to remove any excess pigment, any dark pigmentation or anything like basically eyeshadows or powders and things off your brush. It basically gives you a fresh surface to work with, which I think is amazing. With this quick color switch dry brush cleaner, you can quickly remove powder pigments from your makeup brushes without water. Reusable and washable. This retails for $17, so shoot. So you can take this little sponge thing out right here. Simply wash with your favorite cleanser, allow to dry, and return sponge to container. So that is awesome. That's reusable. You don't have to throw it away after a couple times using it. And it is worth $17. Over here, again, I will have the grand total of what this box is worth. And so far, I am really loving this box. I've loved every single product I've received in this box so far. So let's move on to Ipsy, and I'll let you know what I think. So opening the box... This is what it looks like whenever you open the box, or at least my box. I keep saying when you open your box, but everyone I'm sure is arranged differently. So whenever I used to be subscribed to the $10 a month Ipsy, it used to come with a card, just like BoxyCharm's box, where it would give you a list of all the products as well as the pricing description. Since I've subscribed to the $25 a month box, I don't get that. I do get a card, but it doesn't give me a list of what I received and how much it is. This box theme is take a break, which I think is really cool. I've honestly really been needing some self care lately that I have not given myself. So hopefully between the two boxes, I can do that. The first thing I'm pulling out of this box is the complex couture contour and blush brush. I really loved it. I love the angle of the brush. I love how nice and thick the brush is. I'm really happy to have received one of these brushes. I think it looks so fancy. It looks so nice. It looks well put together. The quality is amazing and it really did my contour and blush like justice. It really did a good job applying the product to my face. Overall as a whole <laughs> I really like the brush. 10 out of 10 for this. The next thing that I'm pulling out that I already took out the package sorry is the Heal Maquillage little eyeshadow little eyeshadow thing I don't know it's in the shade newsflash it's just this tiny little travel size eyeshadow I think it's adorable the packaging is amazing like the actual product packaging I think it's well put together it's a really beautiful brown shimmery shade the pigmentation of this is really nice as well you will see with the swatch that it very pigmented and as far as I can tell I'm really gonna like this when I use it I'm really happy you know that I'm getting good quality um, products in my Ipsy. Next thing I'm pulling out that I did use in the makeup tutorial is the Ofra Cosmetics highlighter in the shade Glazed Donut. I've been wanting an Ofra highlighter so bad ever since I laid my eyes on one. They're beautiful. They're absolutely so well pigmented as you will see whenever I swatch it. And in my makeup video that I keep mentioning, I know, I'm sorry, but look at you know, even just in the video, you can see how pigmented and how glowy this highlighter is. It's gorgeous. Oh, it's Ofra and Nikki Tutorials. Wow. Okay. I didn't even notice that at first, but it is a beautiful highlighter. I'm super obsessed with it. This is probably going to be my new go-to highlighter. Went on so smooth. Again, the pigmentation is beautiful. So shimmery, so blinding. Definitely worth it. I'm sure whatever the price is over here that pops up, I probably would pay for that. Not going to lie. So anyway, the next the next product that I got in here are three face masks. They are the Midflower Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizing Masks. It says here, open the packet, gently remove and unfold mask. Apply mask evenly onto a clean face, smoothing it along your facial contours. Allow the mask to infuse for 20 or 30 minutes. For best results, allow the mask to dry completely before removal. Remove and discard mask. But I'm super excited for these. Um, again, anything to enhance my skincare routine to help my skin in any way shape or form I am down so I can't wait to give these a try and hopefully let you guys know in the future and then the last 
product that I received in the box is the Nature's Cartel Shimmer Lip Gloss. And I am wearing it now on my lips. I think it turned out beautiful. I love the extra shimmery, glossy look. The packaging of this is super cute. It is leopard print. Um, on the sides with the purple, I think it pops out really well. Um, the color I did receive is Static. Anytime I receive lip product, especially a gloss, I'm super excited about. And I think it complements the look really well that I created. So then the last thing that I get in my box and that I believe everyone receives is an Ipsy bag. And this one is super cute, especially the zipper it has a plane on the end. It says Wanderlust. It is super cute. I love the texture of the bag too. Like it seems to be waterproof and it's just a really fun and cute little bag. Again, I'm super happy with what I received in both boxes. Um, honestly, I guess the moment of truth, if I had to choose between which box I think won, uh, I think I'm going to pick BoxyCharm. I think BoxyCharm won this month, um, which is super surprising because honestly, with the last two months of my BoxyCharm, I thought they were going to be dead. So, um, they really, they really changed my expectations for BoxyCharm and I'm hoping the months to come it will just get better. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. That helped me out so much. Subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on my social media at KateFrancis24 on Instagram and Twitter. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video and with that being said, I guess I will see you in my next one. Bye.